everyone and welcome back. Hope you're all well. So I thought I'll pick up the camera today because I'm going to get started on the downstairs toilet. So we never had a downstairs toilet in our house when we first moved in. You'll have seen from previous like renovation videos that we converted like one of the cupboards into a downstairs toilet. Big enough space to be able to do that. And obviously we wanted to do that as well because downstairs toilets can add a bit of value to a house when we come to sell it on if we decide to do that so yeah we wanted to make a downstairs toilet and we've had the downstairs toilet in we've used it before but we've had to take it out to be able to start doing like the paneling in the room building it all up to decorate and <laughs> are you just you're just singing are you just singing so the toilet hasn't been in for the past i want to say since maybe january february time we often have the toilet in so my dad is going to come up tomorrow, he was going to come up in a couple of weeks time but he's actually asked if he can come up tomorrow to build up like the shelving and the panelling in the downstairs toilet. So for him to be able to do that I need to get a start on painting the ceiling and doing the wallpaper. You'll have seen which wallpaper I've chosen but I will show you again. So this is the downstairs toilet so far, we did used to have the toilet in like I said but we've had to take it out to be able to build up like the shelving bit. We have this panelling going across. I don't know what this type of panelling is called, forgive me. Um, but this is the colour that we're going to go on the panelling and then we're going to go with this wallpaper on the top. But I need to be able to wallpaper this area before my dad comes to do all like the trimming on this bit here. He's going to put like a trim all the way around to finish it off and obviously it will look better if the wallpaper is done prior to that. So that's what I'm going to get done today. Here's the wallpaper. I have never wallpapered before in my life. Super fresco easy. This is the sink. It's a Burlington sink. I have bought a new bottle trap. This one to me just looks a bit too modern. I'm not really feeling it in this room considering we've got things like the toilet um, what are they called? Brackets? I'll show you them in more detail. If you can hear that, that's Dallas. Obviously we've got this radiator which needs to connect in but it's quite like round. Everything's round. I picked up this mirror from, I think it was the range. It's upside down. Um, but I picked up this mirror and I'm now wondering if it's going to look too modern in here. But then again, I don't know if like a little bit of modern in a traditional looking bathroom would be quite like characterful if that's the word I'm trying to think of. <laughs> we'll see. What I need to do first though is pull those lights down a bit and paint the ceiling. And then whilst the ceiling's drying I'm gonna do a bit of research on how to wallpaper a wall. Wish me luck. <laughs>
everyone. So this is how far I've gotten so far. Not too bad if I say so myself. However, I've run out of the wallpaper now, so I'm gonna to have to go to home base and pick up another roll. I might actually pick up two rolls just in case, because the pattern match, I think if I have to cut off like a foot from the top or a foot from the bottom. This one's quite wasteful. <laughs> so I might get two rolls, and if I don't use one roll, then at least I can take it back. But this is how it's looking so far. It looks fine from this angle. However, if I was to be sitting on the toilet, looking outwards, then you would notice a lot of imperfections. <laughs> I've never wallpapered before and I'm quite happy with that. I have ordered Darren to get some Colvin for this room because... <laughs> and unfortunately, I'll not be able to finish the wallpapering before my dad gets in to do the panelling, like the trim on the panelling. So I'm going to have to get some kind of cork for when he's finished to try and just finish it off nicely. I might see if there's like an anthracite cork or an anthracite sealant. Just something to kind of hide the raw edges when my dad is done. So I thought I'd jump on because I realised I haven't actually done any vlogging in this room for a little while. But the wallpaper's been done. It's not perfect. I, I'm not a wallpaperer. The panelling has been done by my dad. He came along yesterday. This is just part of the panelling. There is like a bead to go on top as well, hence why I haven't like painted right up to the wall. I have done a little mistake there, but we've got a mirror going on this bit, so I think that'll be less obvious. Um, yeah, I'm just busy painting it now with home-based bathroom paint in the colour Thunder. It's a mid-sheen, apparently. Just going to crack on. It's a nice colour. I'm absolutely going to love this room once it's done. dry. I need to put another coat on and then hopefully Darren can fit them tonight on top of the panelling. But whilst things are drying I am also testing out this toilet seat. <laughs> I've painted it the same colour as the panelling just to try and keep it a bit more cohesive because it was like a tan colour. It was pretty much the colour of this floor which obviously wouldn't go in the downstairs toilet so I have painted it very roughly with the same bathroom paint. Uh, it needs another coat on it and I need to do the other part of the toilet seat, but I mean, no one's gonna really care about it. Right, so yesterday I painted this toilet seat, just roughly, I mean, we'll probably get a new one at some point anyway, but I did want it to kind of tie in with the panelling. So I painted a couple of coats of that. I might end up painting a third coat, but I am gonna get started on the second bit. So this is what it actually looked like. And obviously that, Ain't really a vibe, is it? So <laughs> I'm gonna turn it into that colour and it will be a little bit more cohesive, so. Whilst the toilet seat's drying, we have had to make like a little hatch at the side of the toilet to allow us to turn the water off if we need to. So that's been painted. I've bought a pack of these like wooden doorknobs, which I'm gonna paint the same color, just so it's a bit more discreet and then obviously get it stuck on and then make the hatch look a little bit more presentable.
I've been trying to figure out the best way to store the soap dispenser and this little flower pot in the downstairs toilet. We've not really got anywhere which is sufficient for this to sit on. It's not big, but the sink is quite small, so that just would like fall off. So I've been trying to think of a shelving solution. Nothing's really sticking out to me, so I'm thinking of using this part of that storage box thing that I got from Ikea which you'll have seen in one of the Ikea hauls and just getting down to like screw it onto the wall but I'm thinking about just painting this the same colour as the panelling in the downstairs toilet. Still need to get the mirror up as well. a little look at the downstairs toilet and I must say I'm really obsessed with this room I love 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 that we've went for a bit of a maximalist look in this room the wallpaper is my absolute favorite <laughs> I never thought I would have been so obsessed with a wallpaper but this here is I'm just obsessed This wallpaper was from Homebase. I believe they still have it in. This was purchased almost a year ago now, <laughs> maybe even a year ago, but I'm pretty sure they still have it in Homebase. And it was £17 a roll. I think for this room, I bought three or four rolls. Oh, it's the type of information I wish I would have kept, but it was that long ago, I really can't remember. Um, but it was £17 per roll, and this is how it looks. So as well as the wallpaper, we've went with some panelling around the bottom half of the downstairs toilet. I thought panelling would just look a lot more in keeping with the type of toilet we have, the type of sink we have. The sink and toilet are Burlington, if you can see there. I think Burlington is a Victorian brand. I think Burlington was made in the Victorian era. I could be completely wrong, but it's definitely of one of those eras, Georgian, Victorian. But I definitely felt like this type of toilet and basin needed a kind of traditional look to this room. So, of course, we went with some panelling. We went with the tongue and groove panelling from Howden's and we've painted it in this really nice, dusty, blue-grey colour called Thunder by Homebase. And it's in the bathroom range, obviously, because... We are likely to get a lot of splashes in this room, so we thought we'd get a bathroom paint, which would hold up a lot better in this room. And I must say, it's holding up extremely well. This room has been painted for a long time now. <laughs> in case anyone is interested in how long this room's been finished for, we've had this room finished for at least uh, 10 months, 9 months. It's been done for Grayland's birthday <laughs> when he turned one, so it's been done since May 2022. And... I've just thought, you know, we're not going to get it to exactly the standard I want it anytime soon. So why not just show you it in its glory as it is? These tiles are a very inexpensive find from Darren. Darren works in the plumbing trade, so he knows a lot of different trade people who tend to sell off their products or sell off their, you know, any kind of excess stock so Darren managed to get these tiles for a very inexpensive price we only needed six of them as you can see and 
I just think it complements the colour of this room very nicely. The Burlington sink and toilet are another find from Darren. So Darren was working at a client's house and they didn't want this set anymore. They wanted a more modern set. So they were just skipping it. Darren asked the question, could he take it? And the client was happy enough for him to take it. I don't know if he got it for free, but he certainly got it for a very, very, very inexpensive price for what this set is. I believe he got it, if he did pay for it, I've, he's, he's managed to get a lot of fines within this house. So if this was a one which he managed to uh, purchase from the client, I believe it was no more than £300. But he may have got this one for free. It, I'm not too sure. The kitchen was pretty much the exact same thing where he managed to ask the client if we could have certain things. So we may have gotten this for free. We may have paid about 300 But I mean, £300 for a beautiful Victorian set is... Um, I'm really happy with that. <laughs> so the door has only recently been painted. I did leave this white initially, but I thought, you know what? It's a small room. It's a maximalist room. Why not paint the door the same colour as the panelling? And that's what I've done. Painted it in the same thunder colour from home base and it is still the bathroom paint. But I actually just think this really just enhances the maximalism of this room. For it being such a small room anyway, I absolutely love it. I think it just really works well. So we've done that with this door. And if we move over from the door, we've got the sink area, which you've briefly seen. This here was a bit of an afterthought, but it turned out relatively well, if I do say so myself. So you might have seen at the beginning of this video that this was actually part of a Ikea set, which I had wanted to style up in the hallway, but I just didn't have anywhere to put these kind of bits and pieces and we really needed it in this room. So I actually painted one of the boxes from that set in the same color as the paneling and we screwed it to the wall and it makes the perfect area for our little toothbrush stand and our soap dispenser. I've also jazzed it up with this little full plant, which I'm not sure where that came from, but it kind of finished that area off nicely. <laughs> so you'll know from recent videos, recent routine videos that we like to do our teeth downstairs only because it's just more convenient for getting ready with our toddler grilling. So we do our teeth in the downstairs toilet room. I have to say room, otherwise some people might think that we're brushing our teeth in the downstairs toilet bowl. <laughs> That's not the case. And we just keep our toothbrushes in this little cup, which is from Poundland. I believe they still have them in Poundland, these cups. I bought a lot of them because I quite like them as cocktail glasses for different types of big alcoholic drinks. Um, but I mean, they are <laughs> for your bathroom. So check out Poundland. I believe they were only about a pound, a pound fifty. This again is from Poundland, and this was one pound fifty. And I just thought they went really nicely with the interior of this room. Above our beautiful Burlington sink is our mirror. So I am quite a fan of mixing modern and classic together. So obviously the Burlington set is from the Victorian era, but I really like the thought of just adding a modern mirror to this room. And this mirror was from the range. I don't have this anymore because this was a sale item. But I thought the modern black frame just looks very sleek in this room. I'll try and give you a better view. Yeah, I just thought it worked really well. I love black kind of like hardware, black frames. You'll see I've got some black frames over there. I just love black as an interior design feature. I just thought the black trim and the modernness of this mirror contrasted so well with the rest of the room that it really went together quite nicely. From the mirror in the sink, we've got the towel rail. Now, I don't know if this was part of the set that Darren managed to get from his client, but it is still of that era. It may be a little bit later, I'm not too sure, but I just thought it went absolutely amazingly in this room. I didn't want a modern towel rail, obviously, because it wouldn't fit with the rest of the room. I think this must have came afterwards because I think I pleaded for something in this kind of keeping. And we've even gone as far as getting little valves that match the aesthetics and the era of the downstairs toilet as well. I love it. It doesn't give off the most heat. It's only a small towel rail radiator, but it gives off a nice amount to keep the towel nice and warm. This towel is just from B&M. It's just a basic blue towel. 
down here we've just got one of our little baskets these used to be our little nappy caddy baskets and now i just keep spare toilet rolls in it again i love a bit of modern with the classic and i just felt this i did that tiny bit of color that we needed down here and then our toilet our burlington toilet which it sounds like i'm obsessed guys i am <laughs> especially for the price we paid i'm really obsessed with this toilet and sink set i have painted the wooden toilet seat to match the rest of the room again just in the color thunder by home base eventually i will change up that toilet seat but i think it looks quite nice it just adds that little classic touch i think but the thing about this toilet guys i am loving this type of detail here can you see that <laughs> but that is such a beautiful touch and i know like i said it's a weird thing to be obsessed about but it just enhances the room tenfold i absolutely love it how can you not be obsessed with details like that come on guys <laughs> so above the toilet is where it kind of gets a little bit eclectic and a little bit fun this area here is just to me it's a bit of that i am in love with the white aesthetics the white interiors but in this house guys if you followed the renovation of this house you know it's it's not been like that i love my color I love a bit of colour. We've got a pink ceiling in the living room for heaven's sake. So <laughs> I've just pulled away and realised I haven't explained that this room, although you would have seen it at the beginning of the video, uh, did actually used to be like a cupboard, which probably went to about here. And then behind it was another cupboard to a different room. So we knocked through the cupboard wall and made it into one large well, not large, but one bigger room, which we've been able to turn into a downstairs toilet, which is going to add a bit of value to this house when we come to sell it. This part of the wall here, I wanted a bit of colour. I wanted a bit of fun. I wanted to just be random. I like things a bit asymmetric. I don't like things matching. I don't necessarily like even numbers, that kind of thing. So here we have just a little setup. It's actually hiding a multitude of sins guys i'm not going to show you but just know that if anyone was scrutinizing this room they would be able to tell that this room was done as a diy project and not professionally um but we'll not go there <laughs> this here was from ikea i've raved about this before uh it's been one pound 25 the past couple of times i was in ikea so i picked up a couple of them this one sits in the downstairs toilet and then these are from ikea as well i'm sorry i don't know the price of them if i can find them i will link them but i think they go really nicely in that corner again i've got these kind of four like succulent things which i can't remember where i got but um they're just sitting there adding a bit of extra greenery i like to repurpose photo frames so this photo frame used to be in our bedroom i've now brought it downstairs and put this little this little picture which i got from work i've never lived in timeout but i've lived like near timeout so i am on the lookout for one which states more of where i live and i will like put that elsewhere or see if i can trade it in perhaps with another member of staff um but for now it's just colorful it's looking pretty and it's very motivational because this was received during covid so it was very much you know nhs heroes so that sits there and adds that lovely a little bit of color which this room definitely needs and then along this shelf we've got some more picture frames we've got this lovely bergamot and earl grey spray this is my favorite scent of all time and if i ever see it in sainsbury's which is where it's from i will pick this up because it's the most beautiful just homely scent like it just really oh it just reminds us of so much it's cozy i love it so that is from sainsbury's and i do try to pick it up whenever i see it and then we've got some more photo frames so we'll start off with this one i absolutely love this one and um not because i did it myself i mean it's very like amateur but i just love how it looks what it says if it's very much in this room this photo frame used to be in our bedroom but i've moved it down here just because i like to repurpose as i said i drew this little quote sweet cheeks in a neon kind of font and i thought this room would very much suit a kind of neon picture of some sort i might end up one day getting a neon sign to put up on this part of the wall i don't know um, but for now, I've just done a, like a neon print and I don't know, guys, what do you think? <laughs> I quite like it. And like I said, not because I did it myself, but I just think it really suits the room. 
And then below that, here's another print that I did. I just drafted up a simple little review sign and got it printed. It says five star with poop here again. And if anyone says otherwise, then they are wrong. <laughs> And again, just another little print. This one actually used to be in the living room, but when I did the living room out, I did uh, decide to move that elsewhere. So the frames are very inexpensive. This one I believe was from Home Base, but it's been repurposed throughout the house. And this frame was from Primark. And then we've got this beautiful hanging plant from Ikea. You've probably seen that these type of plants around my house quite often because I pick these up pretty much every time I go into Ikea kind of like a uh, eucalyptus kind of hanging plant and it's just in this blue little vase glass vase from Ikea as well there's a lot of stuff here from Ikea yeah and that just finishes off that corner very nicely and then next to it I've just got some more prints I've had these prints for years and years and years and I couldn't tell you where I got them from they're just like postcards but I've obviously just styled them up in this room, both Elvis Presley. I wouldn't say I'm the biggest Elvis Presley fan, but they're very colourful and, well, one of them is very colourful, obviously, the other one's black and white, but it just adds that pop of colour, which I thought this room desperately needed. From this corner, we just have our toilet brush. <laughs> very interesting. It's not the toilet brush I would ideally like. I have seen one in Marks and Spencers, which I would like to get eventually, but it's £20. Do you pay £20 for a toilet brush? I don't know. <laughs> I'm tempted to get it though because it is in keeping with the rest of the downstairs toilet. But for now, we've just got that one, which I think was from b and Q. I I think it was from b and Q. And then, as well as the toilet brush holder, we have our toilet roll holder. And again, this is from b and Q. It just fits very nicely in this room. And I feel like it's in keeping with the rest of the downstairs toilet. So that is my downstairs toilet, guys. What do you all think? Are you loving the maximalist vibes? Are you feeling like this type of room should be a lot more calmer? I kind of think that a room as small as this needs to be big and bold. Go bold or go home. And I definitely feel like I've achieved that in this room. Everything is very eclectic, which I'm a little bit obsessed about because I don't have that anywhere else in the house. This is the only room where I feel like I can just throw things together and not worry about how it turns out but it just so happens to me it's turned out very very nicely so that is the downstairs toilet if you enjoyed this video guys please do remember to give it a big thumbs up and if you're not already a part of the green tea please family please remember to hit that subscribe button down below i will see you in my next video guys bye